Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, we're doing 50 hacks in 50 days from Leapfrog, the new revolution for women entrepreneurs. Love sharing this book with you. Uh, it was a huge revolution for me personally in my business and certainly for a lot of the entrepreneurs that I work with because that's what I do. My name is Blanca Catalina Garcia and I'm the founder of BCG Connects um, and I build educational programming and services support for um, founders and emerging entrepreneurs in the space of technology, culture, I am also the co-founder of Flagship Founders. Uh, we are launching in 2020 our pre-incubator program. We're going to be supporting fledgling entrepreneurs in the startup space. So um, this hack today is part of the ready section. So it's all about that mindset, um, getting yourself ready. Uh, so um, kind of get yourself in the mode. And hack six is your hack your inner peer circle. And so essentially what um, Natalie is saying there is that we come together as a group like we are doing now and intentionally building a group of people that are sharing your experience and that's as well, that is what we are doing with this book club and so what happens is that you know the entrepreneur journey is just so unique and I am not trying to make a judgment here this is this is an observation from experience I am observing <laughs> that that it, it is a weird idiosyncratic journey that most of the time your like regular support system they don't get it um and even when we are building a career we're often thrown into a peer circle it's you know here are your colleagues here are the people that sort of like understand your field but a lot of times as women we just have to go at it so differently because our challenges are different um and a lot of times those peers don't really know how to help us and support us um, in those decisions that are so unique to our experience. And so Natalie is inviting us to be super intentional about the kind of people that we um, choose to support us to be sort of that group of, of mentors and supporters um, in this very unique, bold entrepreneurial journey. Um, and she illustrates it with a story that I really love, the story of Avilda Verdejo, which was her mentor. And Avilda uh, gave her some really powerful words um, in a moment when she was experiencing something that I know all of us have experienced, which is imposter syndrome. I remember hearing that word imposter syndrome and being like, what is that? You know, what does that mean? It's kind of a buzzword, but essentially it's that idea of like when you're pushing yourself towards your vision, when you're being bold, um, in whatever endeavor you're doing, you find yourself in situations, in rooms, in front of people on a project where you just say, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't know any, I don't know enough. I don't have the same like preparation, relationships, background that everyone else is, everyone else here has. I don't belong here. I am not worthy of this. And that, that feeling of really it's about worthiness and feeling worthy of your dream. And in that moment, Avilda offers for, to us um, these powerful words, which is, you are the source. You are the source of your own supply. All she's saying there is all of the relationships, all of the things that you've done, your successes, when you pushed yourself, um, the failures, the failures that you picked yourself up from and dusted yourself off, and kept moving forward, that is what got you here. You got you here. And so of course you're worthy of your dream. Of course you belong here. Um, and you know, what's interesting is that those powerful words came from somebody who wasn't even in her field. What does an, a New Yorican opera singer know about tech entrepreneurship or the investment space? Probably nothing. But the fact is that she knew the words that that we're going to get Natalie moving forward. And that is a reminder to us that a lot of times th that hacked group might be people that aren't necessarily in your field, but that you know they're gonna remind you of what you need to know to keep yourself moving forward. And that's what we're doing here. We're coming together as women in the entrepreneurship space, knowing it's a weird journey, knowing that we have unique challenges, that we have a unique experience, that we wanna build it differently for us, and we wanna build our, we wanna build a space for ourselves in this space. And the only way we're gonna figure that out is by bringing together our shared experience and sharing our learnings, sharing our problem solving, sharing our failures. Um, and that's really, 
it comes from us sort of defining what that support system is. And I really love that there's a little asterisk here that I just want to point out, which is that this is an and group. This is not an or group. So you might still have your colleagues, you still have your family and, and other um, friends, support systems that are really important to you and who you are, but this is just like a whole other group that you intentionally create for this entrepreneurial journey. And so there's a couple of pieces of advice in there. She does talk about like how you can think about building a mastermind. This is essentially what we're doing here in our book club. It's kind of like a mastermind. We've, we have sort of like a goal. We're all sort of in the same place. We're looking at this book because we all have the same interest and we're coming together to talk about it and sort of like really be intentional. Um, but there's all kinds of different masterminds. The other thing that I would say that I've taken away that I think is so important is to make time for those relationships. If you've created a set of support system, a set of peers that support you, in this entrepreneurial journey, it is so lonely. Make time, make it a part of your business, just like you set up a client meeting, like you um, are working on a product or you're working on your budget. Make time for those meetings. Have coffee, go on Zoom, you know, do those evening workshops or vision boarding or whatever, and make sure that you make time for those people that support you and remind you of your vision and remind you of all the things that you've done to come here and remind you that you are the source of your own supply. So can't wait to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. Talk to you soon.